What terms do you need to know and understand when it comes to estate planning? I'm Philip Bluestein with Rocky Mountain Wills and Trusts. And as an attorney, and as with most attorneys, we use a lot of terminology that to many people isn't as, uh, isn't as clear as it is to those of us who are attorneys and, and talk about these things all the time in these particular terms. So I just want to take a minute or two to talk about a couple of basic terms so that you kind of can understand what's going on and what we're referring to. The first term I want to mention is the term estate. We use that all the time. Estate does not mean, you know, the old English manor house. Estate refers to what you own, what you have. It means your real estate, your personal property, your, your stuff, so to speak, uh, as well as uh, your, asset, your other assets, bank accounts, all those kinds of things. All that comprises your estate. So attorneys, well, when they refer to the term estate or they refer to estate or estate planning, that's what they're talking about. Another term that's very important that you'll hear us use is testator. Testator is basically just that, that means the, the person who's actually making the will. Last will and testament, that's what you hear uh, us talk about. But that's a fancy way of, of saying the person who's drafted, or who's, who's actually making the will. Uh, not the attorney, the individual who, who the will is for. Uh, another one is decedent. Decedent is a term you may have heard before. Uh, that just refers to the person who has passed away, the, the person who has died. You're referred to it legally as the decedent. Uh, you also hear the term a lot, beneficiary. Beneficiary is, like it sounds, it's somebody who's receiving the benefit of things. So uh, if it's a trust, you may have a beneficiary. The beneficiary is the person who that trust is for and they get the, they can use the assets for, in various ways. Beneficiary in a will, uh, that is the person who is receiving those assets. So those are just a couple of terms that are very uh, used quite a lot in estate planning. And that's this, this, the idea here is just to give you a general understanding. We'll do, we'll do another video and, and talk about a few more terms. But thank you very much for watching and have a great day.